Hello everyone, welcome to Grit Ceramics Studios YouTube. I decided a couple weeks ago I wanted to start a YouTube channel so that we could keep the people who are really excited about it updated on every little thing and for our families because they're also super stoked. So it's been a week since we got the keys. We got the keys last Monday the 15th. It's now Monday the 22nd and with that we're going to flash back to two weeks ago when I got the news about the keys. Well, I said I wanted to start a vlog for the studio and if I'm going to do it, I better start now because got word earlier today, they're ready to hand over the keys to us early. And I was a little worried that, you know, we wouldn't really be able to do anything, but I just got off the phone with the contractor and he said he can start early. So next week on Monday, we're getting the keys to the building. Today is January 10th, so this will be happening January 15th. We're getting the keys to the building. The contractor might start work on the floors. I'm currently like getting our first order together for glaze, underglaze, clay, chems, everything, so that it's ready for when we open, because I have to do this now if I want it in three months, obviously. Anyway, guys, we're gonna open a studio. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my messy living room. Um, it's the 15th, it's Monday. It's the day we get the keys to the studio. I'm going over there in like an hour, I think. Anyway, just to give a rundown on what's gonna happen because I can't imagine, this is still an experiment. I will not be comfortable filming in front of people for a long time. Um, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna get the keys from the property manager and then our contractor is gonna come down. Actually, I'll probably show that because Jack's great. Um, he's gonna come down and we're gonna talk about the floors because we have hardwood floor carpet and slate tile in there, all things that are not good for a ceramic studio. Luckily, there's concrete underneath the flooring, so we just have to rip it up and polish the concrete in order to have a workable surface, but we can't do anything else until, you know, 2,000 square feet of terrible flooring is out of the building. So that is the first project. Okay, I have to warn y'all before I take you in there, um, this is gonna be a little bit disappointing. There's no light in there, so it's really dark, but you'll get an idea of the space. All right, it's really dark, but actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. You can still see a good bit. Here's the big main area. Here's little office area with carpet that we have to rip out. Here's the wood floor. Here's the slate tile. There's a stage here that we're gonna get rid of. Two bathrooms. This is going to be our little kiln room back here. So sweet. And just our big old studio. Right after I finished filming that, our contractor actually showed up. Here he is making fun of me for not being able to touch the top of the brick. Uh, we started doing some exploratory demo on the corners of the carpet and the wood and the tile because we knew there's concrete underneath, but if there was any glue holding down the wood or the carpet or the tile, it would make the whole process a lot harder. Luckily, best case scenario, everything was popping up pretty easy. Um, so I'm sick, laying in bed, ill, but the power got turned on at the studio today. I gotta go check it out. I gotta go see what's up. Contractor Jack said it's a bad day to be a tile. So that means he's starting on the tiles today. This was Thursday. I was not well enough to leave the house in the end, but thank goodness for Contractor Jack's Instagram stories. We have this clip at least. Okay, hi, we're at the studio. It is Monday, January 22nd. We're meeting the electrician and we're gonna go in and see what Jack is up to on the floor. Okay, we were talking to the electrician, he just left. We were talking about removing all of these lights out of here. We don't know if it'll happen. And we were talking about our kiln room. It's so scary right now, but that big ass fucking exhaust fan I don't know if I should curse, whatever. Um, <laughs> it actually works. We were really worried. We didn't think it was going to work. It totally works. We're good. Jack is still working on the floors. Show them my progress. Yeah, your beautiful progress on our floor. Got a good bit of tile out. Next, 
One of the things we have to worry about too is that they nailed all of the wood that used to be here to the floor. So there's a ton of nails. Jack took it out in like 10 foot sections. So hopefully we can use it for a desk and or a little bench and have a nice little history of our building in our decoration. So just got home from the studio with Meg. I am still recovering from my illness, so I sound like this. Um, yeah, electrician's on it. Jack is still working on the floors. Um, the exhaust fan. That was a big risk when we agreed to this building, is that we could have make it, made it work if the exhaust fan didn't work, but the fact that the exhaust fan does work is huge. Um, that's going to cool down the kiln room, cool down the kiln room a ton. Kiln rooms can get up to like a hundred degrees higher in the summer and it can just be awful. So really great that that is not going to be the case for us. Probably we're going to have some nice airflow through there. I think this is a pretty good place to stop our first video. Um, one full week of work on the studio started monday the 15th it's now the 22nd we'll keep you in the loop as things progress